Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa majina naitwa Prophet David Richard na ni mkazi wa Tanzania Dar es Salaam. Siku ya leo nimekuja hapa kwa sababu tunaye Prophet Ed Branson, nabii a prophet ambaye Mungu ameweza kumleta katikati yetu. Mimi ni mtoto wake wa kiroho na ni mwanzilishi wa Angels of God Ministries International, lakini baba yangu yeye ni mtu wa Zimbabwe. Ndani ni muda mzuri ningemruhusu na yeye atusalimie alafu mengine Mungu anajua kile ambacho ah ataweza kutunenea katika jina la Yesu papa the Tanzanians are watching you welcome to Tanzania my father <laughs> thank you son the reason why i'm here now kwa sababu sababu ambayo mimi niko mahali hapa siku ya leo is so that i learn swahili ni ili nijifunze kiswahili you was you you were talking in swahili and i was just falling in love with it i said i need to learn this language anasema ni kwamba anaipenda lugha yetu ya kiswahili na angependa kujifunza lugha yetu ya kiswahili i need to learn this language as soon as possible anataka anataka ajifunze swahili kwa sababu ni lugha anaipenda sana but uh, but anyway um uh, we just i'm just joking um i'm here because it is time niko hapa kwa sababu ni majira Um, you see the bible says when the time is right I, the lord will make it happen biblia nasema majira yakiwa ni sawa au sahihi mimi bwana nitafanya mambo yatokee i got been here three years ago ningeweza kuwa hapa miaka mitatu iliyopita but the lord says this is now the time for us to be here now lakini bwana anasema haya ndo majira sisi kuepo mahali hapa so here we are for the nation of tanzania tuko hapa kwa ajili ya taifa la Tanzania. Yes, I have come to be with my son uh, Richard here. Nimekuja kwa ajili ya mtoto wangu Richard hapa. And I have come here for Angel of God Ministries. Nimekuja kwa ajili ya huduma ya Angels of God Ministries. But overallly, lakini kwa yote, I'm here for the nation of Tanzania. Niko hapa kwa ajili ya taifa la Tanzania. This is a blessed land. Hii ni ardhi iliyobarikiwa. And a blessed nation. Na taifa lililo barikiwa. My coming here is not uh, something I decided on my own. Ujio wangu hapa sio kwa sababu nimeamua kuja peke yangu. But this is something that God has pushed me to come. Lakini ni kwa sababu Mungu amenisukuma niweze kuja. So I believe that this is the time for Tanzania. Naamini huu ni wakati na majira ya Tanzania. And the people of Tanzania. Na watu wa Tanzania to experience a new revival. Kuweza kupata uamsho mpya. Not only in terms of ministry, uduma, but in their everyday lives. Lakini kwenye maisha ya kila siku. This is a God-fearing nation. Hii ni taifa linalomuofu Mungu. With the people who fear God. Na watu ambao wanamuogopa Mungu. And I believe that they are ready. Na naamini wako tayari to experience God's hand in their lives. Kukutana na Mungu katika maisha yao. And to bring peace and change into the nation. Na kuwa na mabadiliko katika taifa. So that the hand of God can be seen more. Ili mkono wa Bwana uonekane zaidi. Amen. Amen. So Papa, for for I'm I'm not here for, um, for the rich. Ah, anasema hayuko hapa kwa ajili ya matajiri. I'm not here uh, for the poor. Hayuko hapa kwa ajili ya wanaoambani wa mafukara. I'm not here for the government officials. Hayuko hapa kwa ajili ya watu wa serikali. I'm here for everyone who wants to receive God. Yupo kwa ajili ya kila mtu anayemtaka Mungu. This has got no, no one behind. Haina mtu nyuma yake. I'm only here so that God can be seen. Yuko hapa kwa sababu anataka Mungu aonekane. And the presence of God can be felt in the in the hearts of those who receive him. Na uwepo wa Bwana ukawe ndani ya mioyo ya wanadamu. I'm not here to say Muslims. Siko hapa kwa ajili ya Waislamu tu. Uh, Christian, wa Kristo. It is for everyone who just wants to pray for their nation. Ni kwa ajili ya kila mtu anayetaka kuombea taifa. So it's it's actually a beautiful thing. Ni jambo la baraka sana. And an encouraging thing. Na jambo linalotia moyo. Um I would assume that the female reporters and the female journalists will be happy for such. Nilitegemea kwamba hao waandishi wa habari wa kike ndo wangepiga piga makofi na kuruka ruka. Because it shows that women can go beyond the kitchen. Inamaanisha kwamba wanawake wanaenda zaidi ya kuwepo tu jikoni. Our belief in Africa is that the woman belongs in the kitchen. Watu wengi wanaamini kwamba mwanamke yeye kazi yake ni ya jikoni tu. And does not do anything else. Na hafanyi jambo lingine lolote. And here we have Tanzania which has the first female president. Lakini hapa tupo Tanzania ambayo ina mwanamke ambayo ni rais. It should be an encouraging statement. Ni jambo la kutia moyo sana. In its own kama ilivyo. 
for other women in the, in the nation kwa wanawake wengine katika taifa hili to now start aiming higher kwanza kutamani kwenda viwango vya juu the previous uh, territories and areas that women were not pre pre permitted to enter before hapo awali sehemu ambazo wanawake walikuwa wanashindwa kuingia now they are able to enter kwa sasa hivi wanaweza kuingia because there is a lady who has set an, a good example kwa sababu kuna mwanamke ambaye ameweka mfano mzuri yesterday in my room jana katika chumba changu i was watching your news nilikuwa natazama habari yenu and the, your president came out na rais wenu alikuja and i was here i, I do not understand swahili nilikuwa sielewi ninachoangalia kwa sababu anaongea kiswahili i started listening to her for like five minutes lakini nikaanza kumsikiliza kama dakika tano she has so much confidence alikuwa ana ujasiri mwingi sana she has so much authority when she speaks alikuwa ana mamlaka katika kuongea kwa she is kwa. very calm alikuwa ametulia and that my, I said to myself this is a good example nami nikasema hili ni jambo jema sana for the women kwa ajili ya wanawake and for the girl child na kwa ajili ya mabinti that now the doors have been opened kwamba milango imefunguliwa now the women of Tanzania wanawake wote wa Tanzania should now go and take over wanatakiwa waende na kutawala in Jesus name katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen